Today I bring you the best deals of the week. Timestamps below, but let's kick things off in the land of Oz. Right then, my Bruce's and Sheila's, we will kick things off at Amazon and a nice little 27% off of the Mercedes AMG F1 car from just a couple of months back now. Normally $300 down now to a much more palatable 220 Still a lot, of course, but it certainly makes it seem a lot more worthwhile. Certainly one of the coolest Technic cars that I think we've had in a long while. Of course, if that doesn't float your boat, there's a small discount at the moment off of the Razor Crest. There were some rather fantastic deals on this at different places in the run-up to May the 4th. Of course, I didn't cover those for Australia. I do apologise. But now that I'm doing so, $150 off of this bad boy is certainly better than over-sizzling your sausage on the barbie. Of course, if you still prefer Technic but want to stay with something more space-themed, our Mars Rover here is certainly something to consider. Definitely one of the more interesting builds. Looks pretty good on display as well as having some fairly interesting functions as well that makes it good for, I was going to say play, perhaps that's the wrong word we should just say for entertainment. Ah, uh, who am I kidding? We're going to play with it, aren't we? It's a fun set, 15% off, not too shabby, I don't think. Uh, and then, of course, with Notre Dame coming out next month, if you're behind on your architecture sets, 20% off at the moment. Still on Amazon, of course, of Himji Castle. And then the final one that I've also chosen from Amazon at the moment is our motorised lighthouse. Been out for a while now, of course, but it's one of my favourite builds. I do really enjoy this one. Definitely one of the better idea sets, in my opinion, that we've had in quite a while. 20% off. It's never really been better than that. I don't think it will be either. So now is a great time to grab it. It's not going to be long before this disappears off of shelves. Then if we head on over to Maya, Maya, not quite sure. Tell me in the comments below. The sale is ending in a matter of hours for yourselves. Uh, where I am, I'm about 11 hours behind you. So you are going to have to act quick on this one. Uh, but it's a good saving. $200, so $50 off of the uh, the Dune Ornithopter. Fantastic set. Brilliant functionality and obviously just looks really cool on display. Uh, they've also got a really nice saving off of the Natural History Museum. I almost fainted when I saw the price that yourselves have to pay over their retail for this so that's certainly a welcome discount again only a matter of hours until this is uh, off of sale so don't hang about just uh, obviously make sure to watch my video in full first like comment subscribe all that jazz but then head on over and pick this up uh, Chewbacca if you've ever watched my videos in the past then I, like so many others, think that this looks pretty creepy uh, and is quite flimsy, falls apart fairly easily when you start touching it. But with the new R2 that's come out and the rumoured C3PO that's supposedly coming, it certainly does look like a better proposition and at $100 off, perhaps one that should be considered. Bear in mind this is being retired early, so by the end of this year they're pulling it simply because of how poorly it's done. So if it is for you, might be the time to consider it. Uh, and then, of course, Concorde. Definitely one of the cooler icon sets that we have had over the past couple of years. I think it's a pretty awesome display model. So smaller saving on that one, $50 off. But better than a punch in the face by an enraged kangaroo, I suppose. I shall leave it to you to decide. Now, though, let us head to Europe. Okay, European friends, I'm getting ready for my dose of envy and jealousy over the discounts that you're going to be having this week. We'll start at Amazon, the Polaroid camera. Yes, I know it's been out for what seems like ages now. Only a couple of months, but look at that. 38% off. I mean, come on, you can't ask fairer than that, can you? It's a fun set, and at that sort of price, definitely not to be sniffed at. And something else with a healthy discount at the moment, 36% off of the City Space Base. Arguably the best set in that City Wave. I know a lot of people like this, so that is on sale as well. However, the fun stuff starts to happen when we head over to JP Spielvarn. We've obviously got uh, four new little Star Wars sets coming out in June. Uh, I'm just picking this one for presentation, but they are all, in fact, on offer at the moment. Small little discounts off if you're wanting to pre-order these. And quite frankly, I do think that this is uh, a bit overpriced at retail, to be honest. So certainly a lot more reasonable at that sort of pricing. Similar story for the new Harry Potter set. So Ollivanders and Madame Malkins can also be pre-ordered. What's that? About 15 euros off at the moment. Same for the Mandrake, same for Buckbeak, same for all of them, in fact. Uh, the biggest one, of course, being the new Great Hall. And if you're buying it through them, you're also getting a custom minifigure of the Bloody Baron at the moment, which is uh, certainly quite fun. 30 euros off the retail price as well. I'd say that's definitely worth pre-ordering. I mean, we're only about a week away now. So all of the Harry Potter sets currently on sale there. 
Then, discount off of the new Milano that's coming up. Yes, I would have liked more minifigures, but, you know, there's arguments for and against that. If we want to just look at the ship itself, it's a little bit sexy, isn't it? Loving the use of colours there and the shaping. It's just a really, really good addition. I think it might show up the previous version when I put it next to it on the shelf, so we'll have to see. But you can grab that with a discount too. And then, obviously, the new Simba. Here's the thing. Yes, once again, you can get it discounted, but they're also doing a bundle package at the moment. So for just 10 euros more, you can get not just uh, the big version of Simba, but also the little one as well, which I think is really cute. I, I do like this a lot. So if it was me, I would pay the extra 10 euros, grab it as a bundle, get both of them. Again, only a week away, so well worth pre-ordering at that sort of price. Uh, and then just go and have a look through because there's quite a bit that they've got on offer. I'm picking those ones out, but depends on the theme that you're wanting. I mean, look, the Source Dragon of Motion, that's nicely discounted as well. Cold's Titan Dragon Mech, this is you know, the best mech that Ninjago has given us, full stop. There's so much articulation, so much detail into this. They've even said that it's something they've gone a little bit out of the way to do differently. It's not going to be to this sort of standard and quality uh, going forwards with their other sets, but this is a 12 plus one, so they've sort of thrown everything at it, really. It's just super cool, so... I think it's well worth it at retail price, frankly. Pre-order that for 10 euros off. It's just absolutely awesome looking. So have a look through. They've got a lot on sale at the moment. Of course, if you don't find anything there, head on over to Intertoys and you can currently bag yourself 100 euros. Count them, 100 off of the uh, Avengers Tower. What a set it is. Massive build, usually a big price. Really good discount on this one. I'd be surprised if it hangs about, so probably act on that fairly sharpish. Uh, and then, unfortunately, not available apparently at the moment for home delivery, but for click and collect, depending on where you live, a decent discount off of that big 8080. So, still a huge price tag, let's be honest. It's out of reach of a lot of people, even at the discounted price. But once it retires, it's only going to be going upwards. Maybe one for you to consider. Now though, let us head on over to the United States. So we will start once again on Amazon. And I know that these are not for everybody. I am a fan of the botanicals, but to be frank, I'm not a fan of these. I was a little bit disappointed when they came out. Nonetheless, I'm sure there will be plenty of you who still like the look of them. Certainly add some intrigue around the house and 20% off is a much better price for these tiny plants rather than retail. So if you want to spruce up your decor, have a little think about those. Uh, then over at Walmart, they've still got the small discount off of Starry Night. <laughs> And I just want to go back to it because after the horrendous reveal of the Mona Lisa, which is just disgusting looking, and yes, I did rather take the mickey out of in a couple of different videos. If you fancy a proper art set, the likes of this one is certainly a lot, lot better. Much better way to spend your money, in my opinion. They've also got discounts off of uh, quite a lot of the botanicals, actually. The best ones probably being the bonsai tree and, of course, the orchid. I'd say that this is probably my favourite overall, along with the bird of paradise. The orchid does look really good so they've got the little savings off of those ones uh, and also the ideas tree house that's going to be disappearing soon um ignore that i don't know why they've got the retail price higher than what it should be uh, but nonetheless this is in actuality about 10 percent off so still not bad to uh, to be picking up at that sort of price then if we head on over to best buy if city is more your thing you've got a nice little saving at the moment on the command rover and likewise on the space base and rocket launch pad you know this is the big one it's got more going on in it looks better on display a lot more playability i would say as well uh, and certainly bringing it down closer to that hundred dollar mark is much more appreciated of course if you do like the space but want something a little bit more challenging one of my favorite sets of uh, the wave from early this year was the technic mars rover it just does so much it's a good size build it looks really cool normally 150 dollars down to 120 really interesting build to put together as well learn quite a bit actually doing it especially unless of course you're really into technic but if you're fairly new to it uh, i've been getting more and more into it lately there's quite a lot of interesting stuff going on here so it's it's fun to put together uh, and of course for the bigger one i did cover this in the run-up to may the 4th we did have a bigger discount off of it at the time but if for any reason you missed out you can still get about 10 percent off of it at the moment on best buy and it is such a cool build can't wait for the movie to come out that's going to be awesome but yeah the razor crest if you're a fan of the mandalorian it's got to be done super super cool those are just the ones that i've picked out it's worth having a look through best buy there's actually quite a few things that they've got on offer at the moment but those are sort of my picks but worth taking five minutes to have a little look that's it and done let's head on over to canada 
and for yourselves. Also on Best Buy, look, there's currently a saving on the Mario, Luigi and Peach starter courses. I, I've got to be honest, I nearly fainted when I saw the retail prices for yourselves over there on these. It's absolutely disgusting. Now, different community forums are saying that you can currently get this for nearer $35 if you actually go into the store physically. I think it's also in Walmart as well. I've got no way of checking that. I don't live in Canada. I ain't taking the plane trip over there just to walk in and check it for you. You'll need to go and look for yourselves. Um, but failing that, if you are wanting to pick these up as a gift or anything, I mean, heck, that's still, I think, ridiculous <laughs> for what this is. Stupidly priced, but much better than what it would be otherwise. So in that respect, worth considering. Uh, head on over to Toys R Us and have a little look through. They've currently got, what's it, about 20%, I think, off of most of the Friends sets, uh, including all of the uh, new ones that came out from the previous wave. Obviously not the ones releasing next month. That would be nice, but sadly not just yet. But yeah, whether these are going to be for a gift or even for yourself, some of these to be fair really nice sets now the likes of the hospital or the shopping mall they do look good so 20% off of those at the moment obviously free shipping over $50 okay heading on over to Indigo Toys not the most popular of sets certainly not my favorite but goodness I nearly had a pulmonary embolism when I saw the retail price for yourselves $120 I mean I know that Lego was discounting it for you by about 30% themselves so you know circa $80 uh, but that's sold out now on Lego directly um, look, unfortunately you can't order this online, you need to go into a store, so check if there's one near you that has it, but yeah, I mean, 50% off of the normal retail price for this, I don't know who on earth was buying it at full retail, but certainly at that price, it's worth considering. Then the question mark block, cool set, believe it's now going to be retiring, I need to check the updates on the retirement list. And if I remember, I'll update that in the comments below or do me a favour uh, and do it for me. $50 off, I've always liked this one, I think it's a fun quirky set, worth getting before it uh, does retire. Then the, uh, the big one, the Millennium Falcon, still can be bought of course directly from Lego if you fancy spending over $1000 on it. Alternatively, again, have a look if there is a store near you, uh, sadly this can't be done online but if there is one in a store near you better to be picking it up at that price still out of the reach of uh, a lot of us let's be frank but if you can afford it and you do have space what a set to get uh, and as we're on the subject of star wars the ucs r2d2 they've still got this on discount i'm sure when we looked at this before though that it was available to buy online so now it has switched to uh, stores only they're obviously getting lower on stock just have a look and see if there's one near you we're nearing the end though time to head on over to the uk Right then, good show, old sport. Let's head on over to John Lewis and have a look at this. The uh, the Hinji Castle architecture set, 25% off. That is not too bad at all. Uh, they also have 25% off of the Great Wave. And if you're just watching the earlier part of this video, you'll know that uh, I referenced my distaste for the new Mona Lisa, which I was going to say is coming out next month. Of course, it's not October now, just in time for Halloween, which is what it needs to be. Uh, but if you want a really good looking piece of Lego artwork on your wall, this is definitely definitely one to uh, consider so it's not the cheapest we've seen it's been down near a 50 in the past but 25% it's worth it quite frankly for the set it's really nice to have on display they've also got 25% off of the Disney camera I do love this set I think it's really cool obviously you get um, Mickey I was gonna say, I was gonna say you get Disney you do get Walt Disney but he's the one in the middle the mouse funnily enough if anybody didn't know is Mickey um, then you've obviously getting mini Dumbo and Bambi along with it but the uh, camera itself is just really cool got some nice little features to it as well so 25% off of that one uh, and the other one they've got 25% off of is the Hogwarts Castle and Grounds okay the, uh, the little one now they do have a bunch of discounts off of other sets but uh, it's lower it's sort of 20 15 percent so just have a little look through see if there's any that you like then the kingfisher that we saw early this year looks so much better in person than it does on the artwork that has to be said but currently a third off that is a decent price for it if you haven't got it it's worth doing it that sort of money likewise look i know this has been out for a while now but it's still i think probably the best millennium falcon that we've had of this sort of size so sub 100 pounds if you're going to get one, I think it should be this. Oh, don't get me wrong, I like the new uh, MIDI scale one from the Starship collection, but I, I do think this is better. Uh, then Speed Champions, they've got discounts off of all of the new ones. The cheapest currently being the Dark Horse, which is certainly very cool looking. And at that sort of pricing, shouldn't be sniffed at. Uh, it's cheaper though to grab the Audi over on game. That's currently £17. So if you prefer that to the Dark Horse, you need to head on over there to grab it. Now, game still have discounts off of most of the uh, 
recent wave that we got of sets and they are still just the cheapest when it comes to those Hogwarts sets. Now there are a few places that are selling these at a few pence cheaper but they don't offer the free shipping that you're getting here. So with that in mind this is still the best place to be picking these up at. And of course with those new Harry Potter sets releasing next month if you haven't got these it's a good time to look at doing so. Likewise they've got discounts off of the recent uh, Starship collection of Star Wars sets, uh, all of the Animal Crossing sets and the rest of the Speed Champions line as well, so worth you having a few minutes just to look through and see if there's anything else that you want to pick up, but those are probably my favourites for now. Uh, and then another one that's going to be retiring soon is the Super Mario Nintendo Entertainment System. Over at Wilco at the moment, I know it's saying save 10, it's actually more than that. I think this retails, what is it, 230 I want to say off the top of my head. Still a small discount, but better than nothing for a set that is sadly going to be going on its way out. I know it wasn't for everybody, but I really quite liked it. I think it's a pretty cool one. But there we go. Those are my picks for this week. Thank you very much for watching. Please consider liking, subscribing, joining, sending me lots of money, sharing the video, and putting a parade on in your local town with big posters of my face on, because let's be frank. I'm worth it. In all seriousness, thank you very much for watching. I do look forward to seeing you on the next one.